TT in this thing, you already know. I know she the baddest chick in here, cause God told us so. Whoa, whoa. Hey, so Pastor Jay here, Jamal Francois, talk to me, walk with me. The mixtape dropping soon. But anyway, I wanted to let y'all know that you got to, if you want to prosper in life, you got to surround yourself with people that's a little bit smarter than you or a lot smarter than you, doing better than you. When I say better, you know, they're just thriving, you know, healthy in their mind and their soul and their spirit and their body. They're functioning properly, operating in their God-given purpose and destiny. If you only hang around people that, that are weaker than you, doing less than you, Doing worse than you, that says a lot about you. You know, a great man, a great woman is going to surround themselves with people that are that are greater than them. That's how you become great. You make great leaders by being around great leaders. So if you're the type of person that only wants to be around people you can manipulate, that you can intimidate, you know, that you can dominate, that you can <laughs> fall apart and then they, they, then they do whatever you say because you you can snatch them with your, with your sadness, with your depression. You know, that's not good, man. You know? It's not good at all. I, I'm around people that straight up with me, no yes, man. You know, they can tell me no when no means no, yes means yes. Yeah, of course, you want to be around people that encourage you, but you need to be around people that's going to tell you the truth. Um, not always going to side with you when you're wrong. They, they got to disagree with you to help you become a better person. And be around people that's richer than you, wealthier than you, healthier than you, that are more knowledgeable than you, that have went around the world a couple of times. If you surround yourself with broke people, you're going to be broke. If you surround yourself with nine people that, that are average, you're going to be number 10. You, you got to surround yourself with people that, that are doing better than you. And a lot of people get intimidated. You know, I don't want to be around nobody that's going to challenge me, that's going to make me feel like I'm less than. Well, you feel like you're less than. Why can't it be inspiration? Why can't it be an example? You know, if you only want to be around people that's doing as good as you, you, you're you only going to do as good as you've ever been doing. And I want to advance God's kingdom. I want to be the best version of me, my highest form of myself. And it's only going to happen by being around people that's doing better than me. That's, that's why I listen to Bishop T.D. Jakes. I, I, I listen to whatever my pastor, Pastor Robert Elam, says. I even listen to what my wife said. When God's speaking through her, I'm listening, baby, because I'm not so prideful that you can't tell me nothing. Now, if you broke it in me doing worse than me, I pretty much ain't going to listen to nothing you say. I'm humble, but I'm not fit to listen to you. How you going to advise me and you divorced and bitter? How you going to advise me and you broke it in the joke? How you going to advise me you make less money than I do? You in a relationship where you, you, you're you arguing the only time y'all happy is when you're having sex or getting money. I don't want to listen to that, you know? I want to listen to people that got peace and joy that's been married for 30, 50 years. You know what I'm saying? That's thriving. That that own multi-million dollar businesses and got peace. Because you could be rich but not have peace. You know, I, I don't want to be around people that ain't got peace and joy and the perfect love of God that casts out all fear. I don't want to be around Bible gurus that you know the word but you depressed. And you judging everybody and you owe everybody in town. I don't, I don't want that. I want to be around people that know the Lord, that have love, that have peace, that have joy. You know the word but the word is in you. That's what I want. That's who I want to be around. And anything else, you can go on and hit that unfollow button. Because I'm not intimidated or depressed or upset when people unfollow me. That just means you was a Negro that ain't really know who I was. Or you got upset by what I'm saying. And if what I'm saying don't piss you off every now and then, perhaps I'm not speaking the word of God. Because the word of God going to make you mad at first sometimes. But after you get mad, you make changes. The truth will make you free. You know? Truth will piss you off sometimes, but after that, it'll make you free if you allow it to change you on the inside first. I don't need an outside change. I need an inside change, an inside job, a transformation. Oh, God. Mike Todd, holler at your boy, pastor. Talk to me. Walk with me.